Peter David Jones is a British entrepreneur, businessman, and reality television personality with interests in mobile phones, television, media, leisure, retail, and property. He is the last remaining original investor on the BBC Two and now BBC One show Dragon's Den and on American television series American Inventor. He was appointed commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 2000, and nine New Year honours. According to the Sunday Times Rich List in 2021, Jones is worth an estimated £1.157 billion. Pounds. Chapter 1, Early Life Jones grew up in Langley, Berkshire, before moving to Maidenhead when he was seven, and attended Desborough School and, subsequently, the Windsor Boys' School. Chapter 2, Career Chapter 2 Section 1, Businesses He set up a business in which he made personal computers under his own brand when he was only 16 years old. However, he lost £200,000 after deciding to sell it to IBM. In an interview with The Times, Jones once said his computer business failed when he was in his twenties, he was forced to give up his three-bedroom home in Bray and his cars, and had to move back in with his parents. He then joined Siemens Nixdorf. In his mid-twenties, he opened a cocktail bar in Windsor based on the Tom Cruise film Cocktail. After Siemens' acquisition, he set up his next venture, Phones International Group, in April 1998. In the summer of 2005, Jones, together with Theo Paphitis, a fellow panelist on Dragon's Den, bought gift experience company Red Letter Days from another fellow panelist Rachel Elnor, under whose ownership it had collapsed. Jones founded other businesses between 2004 and 2008, including Wines4Business.com an online retailer specializing in the sale of wine and champagne to corporate clients, and Celsius Resourcing, a specialist recruitment business aiming mostly in biotechnologists. On the 1st of July 2005, he founded the Peter Jones Foundation, a charity to support the advancement of education in young women, particularly through teachings of enterprise and entrepreneurship. In 2009, Jones founded the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy to teach entrepreneurial capabilities within the UK. Pajia has several campuses throughout the UK including Amersham, Sheffield, Manchester, Southend, and Oxford. In November 2013, it was reported that a new Peter Jones Enterprise Academy was to be opened in Leamington through Warwickshire College. Pupils were to be taught how to enhance a company or key skills in becoming a successful entrepreneur. The Academy was to offer the BTEC Level 3 Enterprise and Entrepreneurship at both its Leamington and Rugby campuses. According to his website, some of his investments in businesses that have appeared on Dragon's Den include Luxury Lifestyle and Culture Wonderland magazine, Square Mile International, which provides data services for marinas and was later sold to BT, Contemporary Circus Company The Generating Company, Concentrate Design, which makes products claimed to help pupils concentrate at school. Synthetic Genomics, I Teddy and Reggae Reggae Source. He owns a TV production company called Peter Jones TV, and has several property investments. Jones sold part of Phones International Group, Wireless Logic, for £38 million in 2011, retaining the data select part. In 2013, Jones became the owner and chief executive of Jessops in the United Kingdom. On 6 August 2017, it was announced that Jones and his Dragon's Den and Red Letter Days partner Theo Paphitis were almost scammed by an accountant who forged checks over a two-month period. Judge Joanna Greenberg QC warned the accountant at Wood Green Court that this was a serious offence, a breach of trust over considerable time. Custody is the most likely outcome. Chapter 2 Section 2 Television and Media Appearances Chapter 2 Section 2 Subsection 2 Dragon's Den Jones is the sole remaining original dragon on the BBC's Dragon's Den, which started in January 2005 and has produced 19 series to date, the current series began in January 2022. Jones had regular conflicts in the den with former dragon Duncan Bannatyne, who starred on the show from 2005 to 2014. Chapter 2 Section 2 Subsection 3 American Inventor 
he sold his television show idea called The Inventor to the American Broadcasting Company. American Inventor, which was co-produced by Fremantle, Simon Cowell and Peter Jones Television aired in March 2006. The first episode of Inventor put ABC ahead of rival networks with a 7.8 average rating and a 13 share Jones was a judge on the show, broadcast in 2007. Chapter 2 Section 2 Subsection 4 Tycoon After signing Golden Handcuffs deal with ITV to appear as their new face of business programming, on 21 September 2006 Jones appeared on GMTV to talk about Dragon's Den and his new ITV show Tycoon, produced by the Peter Jones Television Company. The viewing figures were 2.1 million viewers, which was more than the UK premiere of The Apprentice and Dragon's Den when they both broadcast in 2005. The series returned on Monday 9 July 2007 as a 30-minute format for the 10pm slot. Tycoon also inspired Tycoon in Schools, which has now entered its third year of running. Chapter 2 Section 2 Subsection 5 Other Television Work In January 2010, Jones appeared alongside his Dragon's Den co-stars Duncan Bannatyne and Deborah Meaden in the fifth episode of the sixth series of Hustle. Jones appeared in ITV2's Celebrity Juice in May 2010, and James Corden's World Cup Live in June. In November 2010, Jones was a guest panelist in BBC quiz show Nevermind the Buscocks, and in The Magicians in January 2011. Jones has twice participated in the star in a reasonably priced car segment of Top Gear, once on his own and once with fellow Dragon's Den judge Theo Paphitis. Jones took over from Gordon Ramsay as the face of BT Business in 2008. Jones is also the ambition ambassador for the business software company Sage Group and appears in their television advertising as well as being a customer of the company. Peter Jones meets, BBC Two. Save Our Business, TNT. Chapter 3, Personal Life. He is separated from his first wife Caroline, with whom he had two children, Annabelle and William. He lives in Buckinghamshire with his partner, Tara, and has three children. A car enthusiast, Jones's first car was an Alfa Romeo Alphasud. He owns several classic and luxury sports cars.